Uh, I've been getting started at Coldwell State Hospital. I came out of cons solitary confinement <laughs> and uh, had a bunch of nurses around me. The first thing I asked for was air conditioning and a TV set. Of course, this was 1938, so that wasn't around. Uh, I grew up in a little coal region town, Lansford, Pennsylvania. My dad was an avid fan of Pee Wee King, an accordionist, back in those days. And that's where I started. And I uh, took the accordion to some great heights in the military. I won a couple of talent shows, wound up on the USO tour. But uh, taking it back a little bit, in 1964, I opened up a store in Tomaca, Pennsylvania with uh, music instructions and took it into records and tapes and audio equipment. From there, we opened up a number of stores in 1967. And this is what I want to tell you about most of all. In 1967, I went a trip to Panasonic people, and I wound up in Las Vegas with my ex-wife. <laughs> and uh, Diana Ross was the headliner out there that particular night. And uh, after the show, played a little bit around the uh, tables and so forth, and then I said, it's time to go to bed. And I said, no, I said, you can go up. I'm going to stay up just a little bit longer. And uh, I went to the canteen at the Frontier Hotel. And at that time, I was still smoking. So I was buying a pack of cigarettes, and who walks in but the feature of that night, Diana Ross. So uh, I said hello to her, and uh, she was kind enough to say hello back. And then I said, I do sell a lot of your records. And she got interested at that stage. <laughs> so she spoke to me for quite a while, and we sat down at the table, had a cup of coffee, and in walks Joe DiMaggio. Wow. And Joe DiMaggio recognizes Diana Ross, and he sits down. So we're sitting there talking, and the people are walking around us, and they're saying, it's Diana Ross. That's Joe the I know that guy too. <laughs> That's my story, guys.